pectoralis major is a big fan-shaped muscle on our chest. When someone says chest, we either think of this or this. I don't know what happened. I told the doctor C cups. I told him something else. But what we're focusing on is a muscle that with some practice allows you to do this. And of course, this. <laughs> Actually, that last video has absolutely nothing to do with the pectoralis major. Impressive though. Well, its main function and most powerful movement is a horizontal adduction. And here we have some stock footage of a dude performing flies in the pec deck machine. This exercise is used to isolate the chest, basically a straight up horizontal adduction of the shoulder joint. This is why knowing the actions of a muscle will help you understand the exercises you choose for your workouts. Then by adding articulation or movement to the elbow joint, we have created a compound movement, meaning we are now using two or more joints and involving more muscle or muscle groups to work dynamically. By doing that, we have turned a fly into a press, like the bench press. And the shorter lever arm allows us to lift more weight. Same weight, huh? I'm not starting to fly. I'll put more weight. Let's go. Let's or I'll beat them. The pectoralis major tends to be more neglected by women, probably because it's covered by more breast tissue. Meanwhile, most of the gym bros will overdo it, skipping legs to hit chest and biceps again. Yeah, bro, once we're done slamming Jason's handmade protein shake, we should skip legs and do chest again. Yeah, legs are dumb. And then women skip chest and biceps to hit legs again. Jennifer, we have to hit upper body today. Psych! Anyways, let's get over to the anatomy of what we call the pecs. As I mentioned before, it's the strongest horizontal adductor. Again, think of a bird flapping its wings or think of hugging someone. The muscle is split into three different parts, clavicular, sternocostal, and abdominal part. The clavicular part, more commonly referred to as the upper pec, originates from the anterior aspects of the clavicle's medial half, meaning the inner half of your collarbone closest to your throat. The sternocostal head originates from, you probably guessed it, the sternum, but also from your costal cartilages 2 through 6, which is the cartilage that connects your ribs to your sternum. And the third and final part originates from the aponeurosis of the external abdominal oblique. It's a small part of the pectoralis major and it may be absent in some individuals. All three heads attach to the humerus your upper arm bone, specifically at the crest of the greater tubercle of the humerus. To make it simple, all three heads attach to the upper outer part of your upper arm. So if there's a pec major, there must be a minor. Since I don't plan on making a video covering the pec minor on its own, I'll just cover it real quick now. It's underneath the pectoralis major that we find the pectoralis minor, or commonly referred to as a pec minor. It originates from the anterior ends of the third to fifth ribs. The muscle inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula, so what does the muscle do? Well, its actions are protraction of the scapula, depression of the scapula, downward internal rotation of the scapula. When the scapula is fixed, it can be an accessory muscle of respiration, helping raise ribs three through five during inspiration, which means it could be of help when inhaling. Enough of the pec minor. Let's go over the actions of the pectoralis major. Other than, sorry for repeating myself, horizontal adduction, it does have a few other actions. Horizontal adduction. Thought I'd say it one more time so you'll never forget. All right, let's get rid of this. Jonathan, bring out the TV. Thank you. And a scram, please. And here we have a horizontal adduction. I'll be the last time I say that. Then we got shoulder flexion where the arm goes up. We got shoulder adduction where the arm goes into the body. We got shoulder internal rotation where the hand goes into the body. We got shoulder depression where the shoulder falls down. Scapular protraction as the shoulder blade slides forward. Don't you know the building is on fire?